Hello everyone, my name is Vic of EU's Market Biz and for today I'm going to share with you a new income opportunity um, that costs nothing zero right so let's proceed so I'm going to say to you um, share the share with you uh, um, some facts about why joining initiative Q and signing up and the verification okay so the rest I'm going to make another video for it so let's start joining initiative Q so what is initiative Q so initiative Q is building the payment system of the future the Q payment network will integrate the best technological improvements that have been made in the payment industry over the last few decades to create a flexible easy to use and inex inexpensive payment network these technologies have been available for years but not have but have not been adapted due to a classic chicken and egg barrier no buyer wants to join a new network with no sellers and no seller will offer a payment option that no buyer uses so initiative Q solves the adoption problem by associating the payment network with a new global currency and distributing this currency to early adopters for free right so that is the description of initiative Q so why should I join initiative Q so there are four so the earlier you join the higher your reward so we believe that initiative Q will overcome the main barrier to a better payment system and has a good chance of becoming the global standard but even if you give it a, it just a 0.1 chance percent chance of success think of it as a free lottery ticket so number two why not it's free and safe all you need to do is provide your name and email so number three um, by joining you increase the chances of success and accelerate the transformation of the payment industry a change that will benefit everyone eliminating the need to carry cash and, and or plastic and leading to lower costs less fraud and fewer scams so number four you will help reduce the enormous waste and pollution caused by bitcoin and cryptocurrencies so currently consuming as much as as much energy as six million households so what are the risks in signing up so what will you do with the data i provide so there are no risks if it's safe and free to join you might you just provide your name and email address so we must restore your personal data securely and we don't share it with anyone else we will only email you regarding the project and your account so number two why do i need to confirm my email what happens if i don't so email uh, email confirmation helps ensure that accounts are created by real people and not bots if you don't confirm your email it will eventually be deleted from the system and your account will not be activated or eligible for rewards okay so why does an existing member need to verify me so a secure payment network requires that accounts be associated with real people this is especially important when potentially highly valuable rewards are at stake. Therefore, we require that all new members be verified by existing users who actually know them. There are incentives for verifying new members as well as this incentives that discourage verification of contacts you don't know well and or trust. So in addition to preventing false registrations, this process builds a trust network which can later be used to improve security for example if a buyer is purchasing a high value item it is important that to, to verify that their account was not taken over in that case another member who has a trust relationship with the buyer can be asked to check that the buyer is aware of the transaction okay so is this a pyramid or MLM scam? So pyramid schemes collect money from new members and distribute it to earlier members. In contrast, joining Initiative Q is completely free. So clearly, there is no money to hand up the pyramid 
to earlier members. Initiative queue does give queues to members who join, and more queues are given to early members and to those who invite their friends. However, the value of these queues will come from them and being gradually accepted as a better currency. In accordance with the equation of exchange in economics. So, initiative queues marketing approach is not different than that used by many companies such as Dropbox, Uber, Airbnb, and Zoho and others that compensate users who invite their friends. In initiative queues case, new registrants may sometimes see more value in their reward, resulting in more invitations being sent. The requirement that new members be invited by existing users has an additional benefit detailed in the pre previous question. Okay. So how can I get invited? So what if my invite link doesn't work? So if you are a um, if you were invited by someone who has used up all their invites, you may ask them to connect you to a mutual friend who may still have open invites. Otherwise, the two easiest ways to get invited are number one, submit a post on social media asking your friends whether any of them have already registered and could invite you. And number two, go to the Initiative Q page on Facebook or Twitter and see which of your friends follow or like Initiative Q. They may already be registered. What is an initiative queue evangelist and how do I become one? Every new member can invite and verify a limited number of friends. This helps ensure a diverse community of queue members and avoids concentrating the rewards among a small clique. However, people who successfully complete all of their initial invites are upgraded to initiative queue evangelists. Evangelists Get additional time and invites to invite others and reserve new queues. Okay, so can I register multiple times and get more queues? You may only open one queue, one queue account using your true details. Providing fake details, details of another person, and opening multiple accounts will result in the removal of all accounts and their queue balances. Note that this also applies to accounts of the same person using different sign-up methods. Example, opening one Q account using Facebook and another using Twitter. Okay, so sign-up and verification. So why didn't I get a confirmation email? Not receiving emails is often due to misspelling your email or your spam filter settings. Sometimes our emails are delayed by your email service provider. So we suggest number one checking spam or junk folders And number two signing up again using the same email spelled correctly if you misspelled your email address Right, so that is if you misspelled it um, Unconfirmed emails are automatically removed from the system within a few hours number three signing up via Google Facebook or Twitter number four using a different email address. Why can't I log in? There are a few reasons that could lead to login problems. Number one, you did not complete the sign-up process. Number two, you, the person who invited you rejected your request or you deleted your account. Number three, you are using the wrong email address or you misspelled your email address. Even periods make a difference. Okay, John Dad Smith at mail.com is not the same as John Smith at mail.com. And number four, you sign up via Twitter, Facebook, or Google so you don't have a password. Can you, you, you can continue to log in via Twitter, Facebook, or Google, or you can click Forgot Password to set up a new password. Okay, so where is my invite link? To so invite friends and reserve more queues, log in into initiativeq.com slash login and share your unique invite link but make sure that the person who invited you verifies your registration request you will only be able to verify your friends and reserve queues after you have been verified yourself right so why can i approve the people i invited 
After you sign up, your account is still pending until the person who invited you verifies your registration. At this state, you can't verify your own invites yet. Uh, we suggest you contact the person who invited you and make sure you that they verify you. Once you're approved, you can verify your friends at initiativeq.com slash login by clicking review next to the name and choosing the approve option. Okay. So I am not verified and I cannot contact the person who has invited me. What do I do? Close your account and accept a new invitation from someone you know and whom you can contact. An account can be closed by logging into initiativeq.com slash login. Clicking the settings option at the bottom of the page and choosing the close account option. All data will be erased and we will not be able to restore it under any circumstances. Please note that once you close your account, you will lose any queues associated with that account. And you will no longer be able to invite or verify friends from that account. Okay, so why isn't my invite link working? So there are a few possible reasons. Only a limited number of friends can use your link at, this, at a time. After you verify their registration, you may unlock additional invitation spots. Each member, or number two, each member has a limited number of invites. If you run out of invites, you can refer, refer them to a mutual friend that you've already approved. Number three, make sure that you share your own unique referral link. Not the one you used up. You used to sign up. The link you use, you, the link you use to sign up belongs to your inviter. So if you share that link, your inviter will receive verification requests from your friends instead of you. Right? So why can't I see the people I invited? There are a few reasons you might be experiencing issues with inviting others to join Initiative Q. May number one. Make sure that you share your own unique referral link, not the one you initially used to sign up. The link you used to sign up belongs to your inviter. So if you share that link, your inviter will receive verification request from your friends instead of you. Number two, make sure that your friends actually sign up with a valid email address and confirmed emails are automatically removed from the system within a few hours. Okay, so what if a new user did not confirm their email address? Unconfirmed emails are automatically removed from the system within a few hours. At that point, the inviter pending invites are cleared and new users can sign up again. Okay, so what that is for that question. What if a new user did not confirm their email address? And lastly, how do I close my account? An account can be closed by logging into initiativeq.com slash login clicking the settings option at the bottom of the page and choosing the close option, account option all data will be erased and we will not be able to restore it under any circumstances please note that once you close your account you will lose any associated queues with that account and you will no longer be able to invite or verify friends from that account okay so that's it so um, the next video I'm going to um, read the, the rest so obtaining queues the queue payment network behind initiative queue and queues versus crypto so for today I just um, read why why is it important to, about um, joining initiative queue and some problems about sign up and verification or some questions about sign up and verification okay guys so initiative queue Right, so I'm gonna post the uh, um, more description below the video. Right, so if you want to read, you can go there. Um, click the description box. Okay, so guys, before I go, I just want to say that I'm not a financial advisor, and everything I say here is not a recommendation for you to buy and sell um, crypto. And, and you must always do your own research before deciding for yourself, right? So, guys, this has been Vic once again, and see you on the next vid next video. Bye bye.